We've arranged a global civilization which profoundly depends on science and technology. We've also arranged things so that almost no one understands science and technology. This is a recipe for disaster. We might get away with it for a while, but sooner or later, this combustible mixture of ignorance and power is going to blow up in our faces. In the next five to 10 years, over 80,000 satellites will be launched into outer space. These satellites are non-stationary, low-orbit satellites, as well as nano-satellites, and will require millions of supporting Earth-based stations, all of which will be integrated into 4G, 5G, and even 6G industrial and military networks, otherwise known as the Space Fence. Scores of new satellites are being launched every week from the US and other countries. Let's break all of this down. Simply put, 5G stands for the fifth generation technology international standard for broadband cellular networks. First, let's talk about the launching of the tens of thousands of satellites, possibly up to 100,000 mini satellites over the next five to 10 years. What are the reasons and the consequences of this? Well, the main purpose of this is to establish the 4, 5, and 6G wireless internet networks. These 50 to 100,000 satellites will also require more spaceports around the world to launch the satellites, causing even more pollution to our environment. Rocket emissions deliver gases and particles directly into all layers of the stratosphere. These particles absorb sunlight and heat up the atmosphere, changing chemical reaction rates and lead to the depletion of the ozone. As rocket launches ramp up for these satellites and to build the 5G network, so will the pollution into our atmosphere. On top of that, complementary Earth-based stations and millions more cell antennas will be constructed around the world in order to support the wireless connections and the management of the satellites. The plans of telecom companies include installing millions of small cell phone towers on electric utility poles, on public buildings and schools, on bus stop shelters, in public parks, and anywhere on federally owned land. In local urban communities, there will be a cell tower approximately every 500 feet on every street. Imagine a planetary radio frequency mask that encompasses like the man in the iron mask, our entire planet. Imagine eight domains of risk, each one of them grave and serious in itself, but then compounding together in a force that undermines our capacity to deal with the catastrophes they invite. All of this has already been approved by the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. The approval of these initiatives have mainly been done behind closed doors without public consent, and through high-power government officials and the wealthy corporate capitalist classes around the world. SpaceX and other corporations are now deploying satellites to provide the 5G wireless internet to every corner of the globe, blanketing the entire planet in wireless radiation with potentially devastating consequences to all life. They've already been approved for thousands of launches and hundreds of thousands of scientists, activists, families from around the world are calling for an immediate halt to the 5G satellites and technology unless proven safe. The 5G network will also be used, and in fact is already being used, by the U.S. military. Marine Corps Air Station Miramar is a Marine Corps base within the city lines of San Diego. It is an airfield that supports many of our air platforms for the Marine Corps out of the region. Well, we made a big splash uh, three weeks ago when we publicly announced uh, turning on the very first 5G network on a military base. Through our partnership with Verizon and the Collaborative Research and Development Agreement, we now have a 5G living lab on the base. We're able to now pilot and then prototype certain capabilities of 5G enabled technology in the areas of energy communications, connected vehicles, drones, and what we call the digital fortress. 
In October of 2020, the DoD made an announcement of awarding $600 million for 5G experimentation and testing at five U.S. military test sites, representing the largest full-scale 5G test for dual-use applications in the world. Each installation will partner military services, industry leaders, and academic experts to advance the department's 5G capabilities. Projects will include piloting 5G-enabled augmented and virtual reality for mission planning and training, testing 5G-enabled smart warehouses, and evaluating 5G technologies to enhance distributed command and control. The 5G network will be connected to the Pentagon's Space Fence, which is already considered the world's most advanced radar in space surveillance, as stated by Lockheed Martin. And Lockheed Martin was awarded a near billion dollar contract to construct the Space Fence back in 2014, and the Space Fence was recently declared operational in March of 2020, and it is based out of the Marshall Islands. Now, with tens of thousands of mini-satellites connected through millions of antennas around the world, surveillance is reaching a new level, and it is being led by the Pentagon. There's also the use of virtual reality systems by the military, which are incorporating this into the 5G network. The DoD says the augmented and virtual project calls for fielding a secure 5G network that would support realistic distributed training and developing deployable equipment and systems to integrate 5G into combat training operations. The militarization of space has been ongoing for decades now, and with this new 5G network, it will only further militarize space. In a previous video from the Global Network, we touched on one of the most important priorities of the Pentagon right now, which is multi-domain integration. And the integration into the multiple domains of the Pentagon will only further that project. The majority of the public are not aware of the issue of 5G, let alone the consequences of the global project, as it is technologically complex, but possibly even more important is when the government backs such an initiative, the majority of people don't question the safety of it. This is different. This is profoundly different in the history of, of humanity, where even before prehistory, pe peoples, indigenous peoples all over the world have looked up to the heavens as part of their sacred birthright. Now we are at a situation where a few companies and five FCC commissioners are saying no, this is up for grabs. This is a space grab that anyone can have for commercial exploitation, heedless of the risk. This is a massive shift for humanity, which the key word you used, without informed consent. The FCC is offering billions of dollars in direct subsidies and trillions of dollars in indirect subsidies through lax or no regulation of unproven, untested technologies. Already, five federal communications commissioners have granted a few privately held companies blanket licenses to deploy over 80,000 low-orbit non-geostationary satellites and millions of Earth stations. The FCC's piecemeal actions are accelerating a space race that jeopardizes national and international security. An international campaign has been initiated which will require the FCC and other federal agencies to follow established principles and procedures that are well recognized by international treaty, the U.S. Constitution, federal statutes, state laws, and local ordinances. Now even more relevant and critical during a national COVID-19 pandemic, to carefully assess all risks, costs, and viable alternatives before permitting the implementation of a blanket license of 7 million Earth stations and accelerating the launch of 50 to 100,000 satellites. But let's ask the question, is 5G safe? A meta-review published in 2019 which focused on 5G said, The available studies do not provide adequate and sufficient information for a meaningful safety assessment or for the question about non-thermal effects. There is a need for research regarding local heat developments on small surveys like skin or the eye, 
and on environmental impact. Our quality analysis shows that for future studies to be useful for safety assessment, design, and implementation, need to be significantly improved. And the World Health Organization has said, no adverse health effect has been causally linked with exposure to wireless technologies, but so far, only a few studies have been carried out at the frequencies to be used by 5G. To sum up, and without going into complex scientific data, we just don't have the concrete analysis of the long-term impacts of 5G, which is enough for concern because without proper safety measures in place, 5G is already being rolled out. Now there's a problem of debris. There is so much space junk, as well as active and deactivated satellites, floating around in Earth's atmosphere, that in the future it may become impossible to leave the planet, and humans may be trapped in our own garbage. In fact, there's a name for this. It's called the Kessler Syndrome. It was coined by a NASA scientist in 1978, Donald J. Kessler. Now, with the 5G project, the corporations want to launch 80,000 more mini satellites into space. Now, one component of the 5G network is being led by Elon Musk from SpaceX, which is launching this Starlink system. Part of the consequences of these satellites is disrupting our view of the sky. Here's Dylan O'Donnell on his YouTube channel describing the impacts and consequences of these low orbit satellites. What's really concerning, besides the initial brightness that we saw from the Starlink image train, is the simple fact that there are going to be 12,000 of these in the network eventually. And this is really concerning for us astronomers. I mean, it's not uncommon for us to see a satellite shooting through our images, especially when we're shooting stuff that's near a geosynchronous orbit where a bunch of satellites will be hanging. But the fact that there's going to be 12,000 of these things has really sent my Twitter into an overload. Here is an image of what the network is going to look like eventually. Uh, you can see that all corners of the globe are covered. And there's really nowhere you can be on the surface of the Earth where there isn't going to be two or three of these in the sky at the whole time. Now that's a lot less impactful than looking at the brightness of that star train that we've been seeing. But this goes to the heart of a bigger issue. And that's the slow degradation of the night sky. Now this is a price we pay for living in the modern world. As astronomers we already are on the back foot because of cities and just modern human civilization anyway, which has already erased a lot of the night sky, both for professionals and for amateurs. But here we're seeing something that's going to affect everyone, whether you live in the city, out of the city, or even in a remote part of Africa, you are always going to see satellites in the sky moving through your images and this problem is only going to get worse. It's not just Elon Musk and as usual Twitter melts down there are people who love to hate Elon Musk and there are people who love to love Elon Musk and they're all at loggerheads uh, but let's put this in perspective it's about more than just SpaceX this is going to be the way that new satellite networks are formed. We're going from a period where we have, say, 2,000 functional satellites now in the sky to 12,000 in the next few years of these smaller satellites, and that's just one network. There's going to be many of these networks, and there will come a point where we're looking up at the night sky and we will always see small moving stars. The European Space Agency has estimated that there are 34,000 objects floating around in space that are greater than the size of 10 centimeters, 900,000 objects between 1 to 10 centimeters, and over 128 million objects between 1 millimeter to 1 centimeter, just floating around in space. Even the International Space Station has to be moved every once in a while due to debris becoming a danger to the station and the inhabitants on board. Obviously, when a little piece of metal like a screw is flying at 4 to 5 miles per second, it becomes a threat. The 5G network hasn't been proven a safe system. Our bodies and the millions of animals and species already impacted by human society, as well as our environment and our privacy, could be impacted by the 5G network through devastating consequences. We just don't know enough about it. 
With the lack of scientific oversight and safety regulations, the governments of the world are already working with the military, intelligence, security state apparatuses of the world, along with corporations and academics, to begin a global project where only a handful of people are making all of the decisions. The 5G network will only develop more crowded orbits, where space parking lots are filling up, which could easily cause a cascading series of crashing satellites, which will only worsen the problem of space junk, ultimately leading to the species to be trapped on Earth. And soon, when we look up to the sky, we won't be able to tell the difference between the stars, the planets, or the satellites.